Welcome back to another episode of a very basic space program. Last time we put a probe out into the sphere of influence of the moon. It didn't get quite close enough to complete some of our missions, but I think this time we're going to do something just a little different and we're going to modify our, uh, our launch rocket. So um, please join me. Okay, so we're in the VAB and we're, uh, we're actually looking, I'm going to have a look at this probe that we had. So we know this will potentially, if we fire enough of them, we can, we can get it into uh, the sphere of influence of the moon. But um, you know what, I, uh, I, it, it's very annoying doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this a little bit. We're going to put in a fuel tank. Let's have a look. We've got a uh, let's go with the integral structure and we're going to go what's the inside diameter of this because i want to keep it sort of semi-consistent inside diameter of that is 500 so let's make this 500 in the middle there we go and um, we'll make its length i don't know something like that we'll take this off for now we're going to put some engines on this now um i'd love to have restartable engines we could just use rcs and then i could get the old maths calculation out and do stuff but um I'm not sure that's a good idea. You know what, let's uh, let's run some RCS on this. That's maybe a good idea. Um, no, no, because that cannot control RCS. So that would be a problem. So we need, um, oh, unless I set, right. Let's test this. this. I don't normally sim things, but let's actually test something. So if we find our largest rcs ports let's have a look where are the one of those let's get a big one one of these how big are you right let's put one of you on there and we're going to put you we're going to do a little test we're going to do a little test i don't normally do sims but it's uh sometimes you need to to just test an idea so there's my little rcs port and we're going to uh, recess it a bit obviously uh, not that far there we go right and um Let's have a look. So I want to, we're just gonna ballpark this one. Uh, we wanna put it in high pressure and then we want to go right. Um, what engine do I wanna use? I would like to use HTP. Can I get a tech upgrade? Oh, I can. Oh, I've also got nitrous oxide now, but we'll stick with, um, it's slightly better ISP, but HTP is a bit denser if I remember rightly. So it's probably better for us. So what we'll do is we'll just, uh, We'll do some maths in a minute. I'll, I'll talk to you about how to do the maths to, to calculate this, but let's let's have a look. First of all, we need to set this to be, um, where is it? Show, acti show activation toggles. So we do forward by throttle. That's what we want. We want forward by throttle. And I don't know if that's gonna work or not. So we'll have to test that. So let's test that now. So we're gonna sim this. Where's my little simulate? There we are. We're gonna simulate this we're gonna put it um, starting orbit. I've not done this before with this, so let's have a look. Orbit altitude, let's put us at, I don't know, uh, 1,000 kilometers. Delay, nothing. Oh, you can put an inclination, oh, that's nice. Um, right, let's simulate that. And let's see what happens. So, there's been a change with science probes because they used to, science cores used to allow you to go uh, forward and backwards with N and H, even though you couldn't actually orientate the craft. And that's actually been removed. I think you get it later on in one of the tech levels. But I wonder whether we can actually use the RCS port as an actual engine. That's what we're gonna try and do. And then we, we, we don't get a reverse, but we do get the opportunity to just fire it off. So we put the RCS on. Right, now let's uh, turn that on and then try doing that right is that working no it is not so that's not a cheat around that's interesting we don't we can't do that i don't think we're getting any change are we no no we're not um apoapsis is not changing no we just got random wiggle wiggle right so that's not working that's under pressure that's htp what did we put htp in the tank i bet we forgot to put htp no we forgot to put let's try that again We'll, uh, we'll come back to this in orbit with HTP in the tank. Right, so we're back in orbit. You can barely see anything. This is terrible. Let's actually, you know what, let's get through uh, through some to some sunlight of some sort. There we go. Right, that's better. We've got some sunlight, sunlight, because we haven't colored this, so it's reflecting horribly. Right, now, let's put that on. 
put the RCS on. T won't actually do anything. Fire that. Right, we've got no thrust. We've got no change at that point. So now let's turn the engine on. We do. So we can use that as a single engine. We can't control it much, but it's a restartable engine. Right, brilliant. And it gives us that's quite a lot, isn't it? Right, so the next question is, how much actual fuel do I need to put in this? That's the good question, isn't it? So I'm going to go and have a look and uh, check my equations and I will be back with you in the VAB. Right, so we want to calculate the uh, the delta V that we, we could get with this. So let's just have a look at this. First of all, we've got to figure out the ISP. So we're going to look at this engine and go, its ISP currently is, uh, let's have a look, where is it? Tell me. Thrust is 127. We're going to say 127. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be uh, annoying and, and not go for the highest level possible. So 127. It's the first piece of information we need. We know it. We have standard gravity. Um, you can work out delta V as, and let me just try and remember this. It's the ISP times standard gravity times the log of its final mass. Oh, sorry, its wet mass, what it, what it has at the start when it's fully fueled, divided by it's dry mass, which is what it has when it's no fuel or when you've, you've got down to what you want. So we know this has a mass of 0.119 or uh, 119 kilograms when wet. So 119, right. And then we know if we empty these tanks, and I'm assuming the helium will empty as well, we go down to 0 0.045. So let's try that, 0.045. Four, five. There we go. And that gives us a huge amount of, it's not 0 0.0.5, it's 45, God. So that gives us about a thousand meters per second of delta V. However, that will take a long time to burn. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna grab a decoupler. Where's our decoupler? We want one of these, this is, these are nice ones. We'll do that. And we're gonna make this, uh, We'll make it that big, but we're going to adjust that scale down, right down. There we go. And then we can we can color this as well. It'd be very nice, very wonderful. Right, we can we can tidy this up later. Um, and then we want to put underneath that, we need our uh, solid, which we've now lost because I, I went out and came back in again. So here we go. Here's our solid. We could actually make this extend down or make it smaller or something. We'll, we'll work on that. Right. So that's saying that that's gonna be 2,936. So what we could do is actually make this smaller. So how tall is this? This is got a height of, a length of a th zero, three, uh, 307. So let's, uh, let's make this slightly smaller, right? That's gonna give us a nice bump and then we're just gonna use the RCS for finishing. So if I take it down to like there, Okay, we can then use, that's gonna give us a push. I don't really want the push though, actually. I don't really want that push. Um, so that's that. Um, makes a very weird shape, doesn't it? Mm. We should maybe not have this as a ring, but I don't really wanna redesign it because we've, we've spent a lot of time getting it right. Um, so, yeah, that's an issue. The other problem here is final mass, because we need this to actually weigh more than 50, more than 50 when it hits. And this is not gonna weigh more than 50. So the impactors, let's just check this. The impactors are required to have a final mass of 40 kilograms. Okay, so they need 40 kilograms. That's got 0 0.03. Um, and that's well over it, but that, if we lose the fuel from that, oh, it's got the fuel out already. What about this? Right, so that is that is enough on impact. That is enough. So we can't go smaller than that. Okay, that's fine. So we stick that onto there. We wanna actually bring this down. I wanna make this smaller, I think. We're gonna do that. And I think that's what we're gonna end up with, something like that. And then we could actually slide that up and this will still sit inside. Oh, that would look quite nice actually, won't it? Um, put that in there, make this a little, you know, we'll revert this to its its normal size. There we go. Uh, in fact, make it a bit bigger because we've got that engine sticking out like that. There we go, that's nice. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll stick that inside there. We'll have it over the top. It'll be a funny, weird shape. Uh, right. Okay, so now we've got to check our delta V again. So now we know that 
mass of this when full is 0 0.066, so uh, 66 kilos. So let's do that, 66 kilos. We know when we empty it, it's going to come down to 41 kilos. So let's put that into our little calculations. That gives us 500 meters per second. Okay, that's if we burn everything. 500 meters per second is more than we need to actually have for that. That's not a problem. Um, but it's about how much time it's going to take us to burn it, isn't it? Oh, right. So maybe we will actually put force on this. You know what? We're going to use the force on that because that's not going to take us more than that, is it? What is, does it say the force actually is? 43 newtons. Whoa, it's a huge amount. But it'll get us away from this, which is probably a positive. Right. So I think that's the craft. Um, it's added a little bit of weight and I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think we need to do any modifications to our launcher. I was going to do some modifications to it, but I don't think we need to. So um, yeah, I think we can pretty much keep it as it is. What we will do is modify this. I'm going to pull this up and I don't know if you would consider this to be a little cheaty using an RCS jet like that. Um, we could use tiny solids and you know what, probably should, but um, was it Pioneer 1, Pioneer 2 that used tiny little tiny little solids for their sorts of things? We're going to pop that there and that's going to be like so. So that's that's a bit of a weird shape, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's do some, some colouring of this. So we're going to turn that to that. Um, it's like a little hat, isn't it? Oh god, that looks terrible. But we're, we're trying to save on things. Um, what I'll do is I'll colour this up and then we'll stick the, uh, the launcher on it and... Um, and we'll see what we're doing. So I will get right back to you with that. So you may have noticed that we've got a bit more cash in the bank. That is primarily because I have accepted, thank you very much. I've accepted the, where is our mission? Our Lunar Orbiter mission, which gives us two years to do that. And I think given how close we got unguided and the fact of what I want to do next, I think getting into orbit around around uh, the, the moon is actually not going to be a massive problem. Potentially, we could have actually done it in the, with the last flight. It would have been, um, would it have been okay? Da, 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 da. Perhaps above that, I perhaps below that. Yeah, I think we'd have actually been potentially, possibly doing a five thousand. Oh no, it's actually quite tight. Our perhaps is quite tight. Uh, our perhaps. So I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about how low we can get it. But I think we can. We can probably do that. Um, I'll need to have a look. But with this launcher, I think we should be okay to do it. If not, well, we're gonna have to build a new launcher. Um, We've got, let's have a look, the flyby, we can complete once. The impactor, we can do three times. This orbiter, twice. So I think once we get that, I think, we, so let's have a look. What we gotta do, we gotta launch a new craft, collect science from the moon, transmit the KSC, recover, transmit the science, because we must have power. So we need to, for this flyby, actually be doing some science, um, which will probably force, will force the program to do it from suborbit. Uh, or from high orbit will force it to resend some of the telemetry data because we've actually got a lot of the data already and now uh, we'll be going hopefully if we're going to go for an impact we're going to be going a bit too fast and the aim is to actually complete those two in one go which is what i want to do so um in here we've got some points i asked you last time what you wanted to do i've put it up on the discord please check out the discord because you know, it is good. It has much things on it. Well, it, it's getting more things on it. It's got some of the craft files, for example, to have a look at. And it, it, I will always put stuff up there for people to feedback. Also feedback, comment on things. Um, I think at the moment, it looks like people want us to go to get this capsule, which is going to take uh, 28. And then I think after that, I want to look at um, possibly avionics. Um, we, we're getting these easily enough. So I think we'll, I'm going to look at digital communications uh, as the next step. So I'm going to actually tee that up, I think. Um, although I could mm, I could go for better solar panels. We're going to tee up digital communications because that allows us to keep upgrading. And we're going to need to keep upgrading the tracking station as we go. And then the next step will be there. So we've got another, I think, is that 10 more points? Because I want to keep this available. So 10 more points to spend. Um, and I think we're just going to put it in primitive solar panels. We don't really need that right now. Um, I would I would like to upgrade some engines. No, we'll go for primitive solar panels. Keep that moving that way because we want to get to um, ideally. Where is it? Is this where we get? Where do we get second second level? Is that 
or, or first generation or whatever there we go that one is a better so that's a better solar panel that would actually be worth us getting and so we should get to that as soon as possible i think all right i'm gonna let these craft build and um then i will probably launch them into orbit uh, or one of them into orbit and then we can actually have a look at it it's going to be uh, probably 1960 by the time we get to this so uh, yeah let's see how that goes and hopefully we'll be almost done with building this and then we can start moving across so i will see you in uh, in about 80 days on this i think right so i'm going to do a speedy up bit for this launch because well, i thought i'd show you primarily because um yeah we had a very interesting little launch profile I actually i actually had a nice curve to the launch and then as we transition over to the upper stage uh, because it doesn't have control and I'm quite low down in the atmosphere because of my gradual launch It starts to tip down and that that actually means that when it does fire and then we get rid of the fairings and getting rid of the fairings Gets you control back because they were enough just to be sort of more over the over the control limit for that upper stage We're actually pointing downwards and we start to lose altitude and ironically that actually gave us a really nice launch profile Which I was not expecting so we just continued burning on up and you can actually see that at the end we get a relative inclination of 0.09 degrees, which is a really nice actual uh, inclination. And we've we've got a big chunk of fuel left. So I think we had about 500 meters per second left in that upper stage, which is a lot better than we'd actually had in previous launches, even with that uncontrolled that uncontrolled section sort of tipping down the atmosphere. Anyway, back to me. Right, we are in orbit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do a voiceover a bit for that that launch because it was quite an interesting one. And I have recorded. I just didn't really speak over it. I was just looking at it. I did the again thing of doing it at two times speed, which which for this launcher for the start is okay, and for parts of the the second stage is okay. But I should actually stop being like lazy and do it properly because I could actually get a much better launch. You can see there that actually the uh, the, the apoaps perhaps is not brilliant but it's not terrible i mean I, I could actually circularize that with with uh, with fuel there so i'm going to set up the maneuver and then we're going to give this thing another go so i will see you in but a moment right we're just positioning ourselves for this uh, this encounter and as seems to be traditional with these lunar missions for some reason we always seem to be launching um we always seem to be doing our tli on the uh, dark side so i'm going to position this and then i will be right back with you Right, so we're coming up to our burn, and actually, um, it's it's annoying me a little bit that we can't actually in, in, induce roll in this. It's actually very annoying, um, but we'll go with it anyway. Um, I am sort of ready. Um, we're going to go at 20, 20, 15, 17 seconds or something like that. Um, we're just out of range of a station over there um, and I think that's that's annoying me a lot so I think we're just gonna fire it off uh, now there we go uh, we don't have thrust on that upper stage just yet because we don't um, my concern is this thing starting to tumble but it seems to be okay at the moment uh, if we have to use these thrusters liberally I will so this is showing that we're actually short a little bit which is nice that means it's a good good goal for us so we're getting a little bit of post thrust and we're gonna fire the next one, good. Right, let's have a look on here now. We're looking at this and we'll probably get signal very shortly, which will let me do stuff. And now we're starting to turn off target, which is the concern. Now, good, luckily the, the, the moon is actually large enough that I can, uh, we can sort of hit it reasonably well from pretty much anywhere. So let's see, that's gonna take us up to here and how short are we going to be we're going to be at 300 400 short we're going to let that run we're going to let that run just a little bit okay and then we're going to fire that right now this is the stage so we've got our thrust on and we're off to one side a little bit but we're going we're going we're going we're going so let's uh speedy this up just a smidgen oh we're actually oh we're diverting terribly because we didn't spin stabilize oh that's terrible that is terrible right so what we may need to do is actually stop this and let it rotate around at one point and burn on the other side so we'll just we'll go for a little bit more see if we can get anywhere near and then when we come around the other side we may have to just do a little burn possibly uh, to, to bring that back and we're now burning sideways that's a problem so we're gonna let this roll just a smidgen around 
so that's that's we're now heading towards this now this is not what i had planned because i would have liked to spin stabilize this we're just going to let it rock just a little bit more and we want to be past this point here i think we want to be uh we want to be towards direction of travel we're going to try and get on it um about there right so now we're going to fire our engines again it's going down good right that's good that's good we're going down a bit more and we want to be heading towards that i want to be able to basically drift over that towards the end of our burn um, and i think we're going to be able to but our timing could potentially be out i'm not sure if we're going to get um a good encounter on this so note to self spin stabilized if this was spin stabilized we wouldn't have this problem at all because it would have actually still been you know slowly at least only slowly diverting off this we've actually introduced a, a role for this and you can actually see we're um we're gonna have to play catch up a little bit i think so we're gonna let this just run just a little bit more to there that's good right i'm gonna do a little bit more burning so we're now roughly in the right region anyway and we're going forward and forward and forward we're now prograde really nicely well almost prograde really nicely so we need to just i need to be aware of this because we want to pop over to this and get the final 10 15 20 meters per second um and we need to be just ready for that so we're getting close we're getting very close now okay and right we're going to do that we're going to uh i don't want to do that i want to focus view right so we're going to go for an impact i think we're going to get this there we go that's an impact on the dark side of it i would really like there we go that's better so we should be coming down on the light side of the moon there what that's good so what time are we actually looking at so that's going to be moon escape six days moon escape i don't want that get rid of that what's that that's in four days okay right are you the little craft that can so what we also need to do is check that we've actually got the mass that we need for this so vessel info tells me that we have not point so 55 kilograms that's good that's so that should give us what we need right now what are we actually looking for we are looking for we're going to go below that that's okay collect science from around the moon and it says we've already done that that's interesting i'm going to force it to do that again when we're nearby and then we've got this one as well impact moment speed of at least did it right so we're going to i'm going to move until we're actually in moonar escape there or moonar uh, orbit and i will see you as we enter moonar orbit right we are now in moon orbit or oh, not in moon orbit but in moon sphere of influence so I'm actually going to, I was just checking the electric while we were speeding along there, and um, I'm actually going to now force it to do a, a little bit of science for us. So we're going to turn on telemetry, and then I'm going to force run it. Um, and I, that should force it to transmit some science. And I just want to do that because, although it says collect science from around the moon, it's not this craft that's done it. And I'm a little concerned that it's going to, uh, it's going to ca not going to count it. And I don't know if you have to do it while you're low or not, or when you're within that 5,000. I guess we'll figure it out. We are going on a collision that I'm hoping is going to, uh, fingers crossed, do this. So we'll let that run to well, for 200%. Um, here we go. And it's retrieving. So this should hopefully just trigger it just in case, because I think it's a bit, a bit rude if we can't. There we go. So stop that right what's that done to our electric our electric is really good actually this craft could actually have been lightened a lot i don't know what i want to call this it's like the it's like the donut gone wrong isn't it there's the earth there's the moon now of course we're going to go um for this craft it's going to go into a position where it's i think it's probably going to be occluded just before it hits and i'm i'm hoping that we can get a little bit of science before then so we're going to speed up to there that's 15 hours away we can actually see this craft i think is going to come round. it's going to crash on the far side because of the way we've done it it is going to hit the far side so what we'll what we would see from earth would actually be a, a potentially a plume but not actually the crash site if we'd have left it where we were going to go in the dark there 
it would have been uh, it would have been on the on the on the, f the front of the moon but it would have been in the dark so uh, we've, we've, we've you know we've, we've had to do that right are we ready are we good I think I think we're just going to uh, time to perhaps does not have a thing to, all right three hours I think we can turn everything on I think we just turn everything on and we hope that we can actually transmit as much as possible on its way down we definitely want the, the cameras on right so here we go we're gonna go down gonna close in we've got in it going to close in ever so much now we're gonna to get to I'm gonna to get to within about an hour and then we'll slow down just a smidgen uh, there we go so down to an hour Ooh, there we go it's good now should I ah we have now got the flyby because we've gone within the 5,000 that's good so that's completed so now it's all about the impactor so I think we're gonna to switch to this and I'm gonna just uh, let this fly in a bit oh there we go right we've got the turnover because we're now low down right so now we can just speed it up and where we're going to land let's have a look zoom out a little bit here we go coming in of course this thing is going to speed up and speed up and speed up and speed up um there we go all right coming in coming in slow down just a little bit we can see the surface of the moon there it's very rocky i was thinking of getting parallax for this install i have decided against it um we're going this is at normal time this is normal time not sped up or anything and see how fast we're coming in i think i just paused it actually back there we're going in at going to be over three thousand meters per second so this is going to be uh painful and into a crater and oh there we go impact so we'll come back out of that we got an upgrade point did we complete the mission though we have completed the impact mission. Oh, that is superb. Right. So the mission is complete from me. Until next time, have a great one.